Reynolds lived in the spotlight for more than six decades and what a complex life it was by turns dazzling and frankly disastrous. This morning we look back. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Debbie Reynolds danced her way into the popular consciousness at the age of just 19, starring with Gene Kelly in one of Hollywood's most beloved musicals, Singing in the Rain. Her fame cemented in 1964 with her role as boisterous heroine. That ship may be down, but not me. I'm unsinkable. The unsinkable Molly Brown, for which she scored an Oscar nomination. And throughout her life and her career, Debbie Reynolds proved over and over that she was, in fact, unsinkable. I knew if he knew. Dazzling with her many talents. I'm an actress. And that infectious smile, all while navigating a tumultuous personal life. Her first husband, Eddie Fisher, left her for her then best friend, the bombshell beauty Elizabeth Taylor, in what was the most talked about Hollywood scandal of the day. Reynolds discussed it here on GMA in 2013. That was an incident that happens in your life, that is an unhappy time, and you grow up a lot, but it's just something that you have to live yeah. through. Her relationship with her daughter, Carrie Fisher, who died on Tuesday, one of her most defining and perhaps most complicated. I wanted to do what my mother did. I wanted to be like my mother. I worshiped my mother. Oh, I Got it from Eddie. Eddie's side. It was a roller coaster. Carrie Fisher documented the highs and lows in her book and movie, Postcards from the Edge. Am I too late for the family? For years, they were estranged as Fisher struggled with substance abuse and mental illness. She didn't talk to me for probably 10 years. So that was a very, that was the most difficult time of all. Very painful. Very heartbreaking. But time helped heal the wounds. I would say that Carrie and I have finally found happiness. Mother and daughter closer than ever in their final years, even living next door to one another. Money, mommy, I'm home. As seen in the upcoming HBO documentary, Bright Lights. Both of those bright lights now dim. Good morning. Although on screen, both will shine on for years. For more on this story, let's bring in Jess Cagle, the editorial director at People Magazine, and also ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton. Dr. Ashton, let me start with you. There's talk of broken heart syndrome right. this morning with mom's death coming so soon after her daughter's. Is that a, a valid medical phenomenon? It is a real medical condition. I think it is possible figuratively and literally to die of a broken heart. It doesn't seem to be the case for Debbie Reynolds, but there have been reports of spouses dying hours or days apart from each other. Certainly the loss of a child is known to be one of life's greatest stressors, whether that child is six or 60. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about an elderly person with known pre-existing medical conditions, certainly the loss of a child can be a massive emotional and a physical event. No and Jess, Jess, let's bring you in. We heard in that piece, as Dan said, mother and daughter, they were estranged for about a decade, but they had so many personal tragedies between the two of them. Do you think that gave them an unbreakable bond and ultimately brought them back together? Ultimately, it did. I mean, and I think that Carrie Fisher went through, you know, as she spoke about so publicly, uh, a lot of addiction issues. And so I think probably through a, a lot of therapy, she learned to be grateful for this woman who had shaped her life and made this life possible for her and given her this extraordinary life. And she learned to let go of the resentments because, you know, Debbie Reynolds was, she was great on stage and she was great on screen. At home, things were much more difficult for her. Life was hard sometimes. Yeah, life certainly was hard, but she had that breakout role at the age of 19 and singing in the rain next to Gene Kelly. But her career spanned over 60 years. Why why do you think she had such longevity in Hollywood? Well, she was incredibly talented. She was incredibly well liked. She was a great, great comic actress, underrated, one of the best. And so while one generation knows her from Singing in the Rain, another generation knows her from Will and Grace as Grace's mom. And she was fantastic. If you've ever seen Mother with Albert Brooks, she should have won an Oscar for that film. It, she's just, she was always great. And frankly, she loved to work and she had to work. Jess Cagle, Dr. Ashton, thank you both.